Hello everyone and welcome back to another update on the uh, Gloucester Meteor F3 from Tamiya and today we're going to be adding the mask on to the model uh, so then we can paint it so let's get started so all I'm going to do is apply it where I uh, want my grey and then when I come to paint it that will be covered up and uh, then we can spray the green on and it will be nice and covered up so I'm copying this off the uh, piece of paper that they supply you in the kit and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over where I want um, the grey paint, not the green. So, And then I can spray the dark green paint on once this is uh, dried after about half an hour. So that's how long it takes to dry. I assembled the engines in the last video so I'll show you those once I've completed putting this mask on uh, and then once I've done that we'll end the video so moving on to the other wing yeah this stuff's uh, pink so once it's all on it kind of looks like a funky looking plane So once that bit's done, we can move on to get on the fuselage. So Once you do that there, it should run down and then we'll do it with the cockpit there and then it goes down the other side. Yeah guys, I hope you're enjoying these uh, new build videos because I've only just started doing these and um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying them. I only usually do the updates, so yeah. And then that looks like it 
goes up the side there and goes to the back then up from there Uh, I'll just put the first coat of mask all on in this video and then um, once I've done that I'll put the second coat off off camera then I'll get back to you guys once the green sprayed on because uh, I don't feel confident with spraying on camera just in case you know um, the airbrush blocks up or anything like that so and um, as well I like to concentrate uh, my hardest as well so I don't mess it up so I'll probably will be spraying uh, on camera in the future but not quite yet Okay guys, there's the first coat, so while I uh, wait for that to dry now, I will show you the engines to this, so, yep. Yeah. I can find them anyway. Okay guys, I'll just pause the video um, and then I'll find them and then I'll get back. In fact, nope, I just found them. <laughs> so, yep. Here you go. I uh, painted these off camera and I think they turned out pretty nice actually. Um, yep, there's those and the other two pieces here. Uh, I need another coat, but yeah. I'm going to spray these and we're going to weather them. And then um, we'll uh, put them in in the actual plane in the next video. Uh, and then we can get onto the wheels then, once we've painted it, and put the engines in. So, oops, just dropped an engine. Don't want to be doing that. Pick it up. There we go. So... Yeah, uh, I'm just going to put a couple of uh, little touches up now and then I'll end the video here and then once they're all fully dry I'll, um, I'll put another coat on. I don't want any uh, green going on the grey so I would recommend this stuff if you've got an airbrush an airbrush but if you've just um using a normal paintbrush um I'd say it's easy enough it's probably easier just to paint it normally instead of going through all the you know brush it's basically just putting this in over when you can just be painting um, normal paint on your proper paint instead of this so yeah there's no point doing it if you haven't got an airbrush to be honest but if you really want to you can 
So if you've got an airbrush, it's really ideal. I do anyway. Um, I'd say it's a lot easier than masking up. And as well, when um, you paint, the little edges that you get over, you can just easily scratch them off. And uh, yeah, it's quite good as well. So. We need some more on there, I think. Yeah, it, do, it even though sometimes with this stuff, even though you feel like there's not anything there, it does spread out and covers it really well. So, sometimes you don't actually need uh, as much as you think you're putting on, to be honest. So, yeah, I'll end the video here, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. And my meat is looking pretty funky at the moment, I'd say. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time in the next update. Bye.